Jammer full, buddy. She's full. <laughs> Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Me and G-Wagon out here on a little two-man pigeon hunt. Um, we had to walk in last night. I was not expecting it to rain, and it did. Uh, not muddy, just <sighs> tops a little wet. Not bad. It is, Gerald said it right earlier, it is like a fart out here. It is nothing but just straight humid, a little bit of west wind. We walked two panel blinds, two buckets of ammo, four dozen of the FA final approach pigeon decoys, and we sit it really spread out farther away from the blind a little bit. And we brought the world's smallest shell. I don't, again, I don't know if they're the world's smallest shell, but they're the smallest 12 gauge shell that I have personally ever seen. I understand. There's smaller 410 shells. A lot of you stated that in the comment section. <sighs> yeah, the 410. You gotta shoot the. You gotta try the old minis out, though. I'll get real, world. I think the minis. I don't know if they're gonna cycle well with our tubes. Shoot them early when it's the singles and stuff. Singles. Yep. Just put one in the chamber. Like you shoot the mini, I'll have a regular in to back you up. <laughs> you know what I mean? The backup. Yep. We'll just take turns with the mini shells and see if we can actually kill something. But I might go get the 410 real quick. Okay. I think I got three shells. <laughs> gonna go get the 410. This is what I'm running today. I have the shotgun camera back. Yes, y'all have missed it. So have I. I'm running the Franke. A lot of you have asked why I have lately preferred the Franke over my Benelli. <clears throat> I'll be very honest with you. I think it's just the amount of years that uh, I've spent shooting this, uh, this Franke. And every time I pick it up, I'm lights out with it, so. Really excited about today. With it raining all night and it being cloudy, I don't know if that is going to affect the birds, but I'm gonna shut up. Oh, and y'all have wanted to test the wet shell theory. Yeah, it rained at least an inch last night. Oops. And um, see, this is one thing before I go any farther. Guys, if you're new to the channel, always watch your gun. If it was windy today, this would fall over in a heartbeat. So always watch your gun. When it's loaded, unloaded about it, getting knocked over by dogs, wind, etc. I uh, like to use these too. You can use these and clamp them up here. So then it kind of holds your gun up a little bit. But anyways, what I was saying, wet shell theory. The buckets were a quarter full of water with boxes of shells. Yeah, and all of our shells are really, really wet, even the old shorties now these shorties um i hope everything fires oh man look at this it's just yeah they're wet these are the shorties if you have not seen them that is them they're extra whoa now it's muddy they're extra tiny 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 like when i say tiny here is a side-by-side -side comparison that is a normal two and three quarter just a regular dove load, pretty much. So they are itty bitty. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna take out my regular shell and I'm gonna put it in the old mini. If it's a group of 20 coming, I'm gonna take that bad boy out. Yeah, I got the 410 <laughs> ready, but we'll, I'm just gonna leave that guy ready. You gotcha. I'll back you up with the 410 on the mini. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta single it. Why did they Ooh. come from that direction? I don't know. Think they're farm birds? They might be. They gotta be. Might be a homer by, by himself be. out He's there. He's taking his time. He's a roller. <laughs> oh, come on. Should we try him? Next one? That's Next swoop? <laughs> I think he needs to break 60. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And I got that small show in. It's probably gonna, gonna jam up. <laughs> it's gonna jam up on me. High. Yeah, they are. Good looking though. They might be part snow goose. I don't see any white ones. <laughs> ah, come on. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. That's what they said as they went by. And when they left, 
They gave us the bird. Yeah, big one. Ten birds giving birds. Oh, none. <laughs> yep, I jammed. World's smallest shell likes to jam out of the tube. That one Caught us off, off guard. Yeah, they. I did not expect that. They. I looked up. I was like, "Oh God, did we not kill anything?" No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that caught me uh, way off. Guard. Okay, so I'm not gonna run the small shells on big groups. That's for sure. Hey, they're coming back though. Oh, these ones are different. Here we go. God, I just want to stay out there. there yeah. None again. Oh my God. Feathers though. We hit one. Yeah, no, one had to fall with that many feathers. Uh -huh. Oh, he's oh, going he down. Goes. The white winger. Boom! We got a crasher. All right, one in the bank. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so plan is singles, doubles, we will use the small shells. Big groups, you can't because it's probably not going to cycle. It's just a small load and, um, not enough umph to uh, slam that bolt back to eject it. So we're on the board. We got a hundred yard walk to go get him, but <laughs> we're on the board. <laughs> I was going to tell you guys before we go any farther, me and Gerald, we were on Sand Hill and uh, we are running a week long, um, call it a promotion, a discount promotion offer for November only. For the next week, if you book a hunt, uh, we're doing discount rates for November. Um, the reason is, is um, November is a special month, and um, honestly, it's some of the best duck and goose combo hunts that you can you can get. So, um, with everything getting more expensive out there, fuel, um, grocery, travel, obviously, um, we're just trying to help some people out by being able to afford to come. People, groups of six, groups of four, groups of eight, whatever, groups of ten, twelve. Uh, trying to adjust the price a little bit so people can come and afford it because everything has gotten so expensive people it's hard for people to afford to do anything it's rough this year man dude so rough grocery alone even besides fuel we all we all been complaining about fuel but uh, yeah it's, i was excited the other day when i seen it for 4.99 isn't that crazy that's rough yeah, that's pretty almost, cheap. Almost two dollars higher than it was last season. We're just retrained now to say, hey, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> but if you're interested, uh, Sand Hill, uh, the Sand Hill link is always down in the description. Uh, click on it, uh, fill out the Inquire to book form. Make sure you put the correct phone number on that form so we can get a hold of you. Woohoo! Well, Gerald just shut down all of our spinning action, all the mojos, the spinners. We're going to see if it helps. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're right above your head. <laughs> oh, yeah, they like it a lot more, I think. The old death spin. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> see if we can get one. Yeah, you ain't kidding. You say when. Go. One and sailor. A one and a sailor, Jerry. I, my, I had one shot that went way right if y'all seen that. That was a bad deal. Oh, another one fell. Two sailors. Oh, Three two down. Group, two group. Three down. We're in the money. <laughs> One down, two sailors. <laughs> Ooh, professional shooters out here. Let me that tell was you. better though. It was. They decoyed really, really, really good. That front one was just loving us. Oh, they are a little pack. hesitant though. Yeah, they are. You would think somebody might have hunted them already. Weird. <laughs> the old barrel is warm. Yeah, you ain't kidding. That wind went away. Ooh, little wing flap going. Oh, two, two singles on the left. 
Those are new. Turn. Oh yeah. At least the one's going to. That front one's a big bird. Yeah, it is. Shoot them on your side right there. Get them. Nice. That had he to, was a that had to been squirrely you. thing. Yeah, I couldn't get on him very well. There we go. Both knocked down. Heck yeah. Well, I think pulling all the mo yeah, we have feathers falling everywhere. I think pulling the motion definitely worked. They were pretty squirrely when they first started coming. We shut down all that motion and they're giving it up pretty good right above you. Shoot those. If they come above you, shoot them, Gerald. Nice. Two birds, one shot. Three. Nice. G-Wagon's out here doing work. You got to smash the old thumbs up for G-Wagon. Three birds, one shot, buddy. Well, we're in the money now. Gerald is absolutely crushing it. Yeah, that was cool. He just went, bloop, three of them fall. Oh my God, dude, look at two hordes of them coming. Uh-oh, it's about to get squirrely. Look at this group. Oh Lord, have mercy. New group on the deck, out front. Oh, look at this, oh, dude. look at this one, look at the one. Oh. Oh. See that one that's super red? Uh-uh. He's in that group. These ones should do it right behind us, right behind us. Get in there. Oh. Go. God dang it. There we go. Reload. <laughs> Heck yeah. There's several fill out of that yeah, one. Yeah, we definitely got five or better on there. Look at all the feathers. Dude. Oh man, we were worried they weren't even gonna fly. They definitely are flying now. Jack. We missed the thick spot by like a second. Yeah, I know they did. They when they collided. We missed it. You're right. Angle. If he comes in popping. Oh yeah, these four or whatever. Oh, that group's right there. Shoot them too. Yep. Nice. Whoa, you got two in one shot there. Did you shoot? I shot at this far. Oh, one. really? Oh, we got some runners. That was a two in one -er. All right. I'll take it. You got some trespassers trespassing? Yeah, buddy. Now we're working on them. Turned off the motion. That was the trick. 100% trick all right we got to do some work here well there we go we are working on them now heck yeah i think that's the two that i just shot together smoked them that was sweet dang we made a little bit of a mess out here what do we got here uh, all just feral birds these a little older Nice white flight feathers. No bands yet. Blue bars, some checks. That was fun right there. That was awesome. And a red. Ooh, we got some colors in here. Come on back now. Come on back. Send it. Get him. Oh, God. I, I, look, we got, you look like you might have hit one. I completely shot like dog poo poo. Got two. You got two? Yeah. Man, yeah, I was come back. I was all over the place. <laughs> Yikes, Bob. What the heck? I'm not. Pre-game jitters. I guess. I guess you, you should get a fly by right it. here. Yeah. Little Hail Mary. Yeah, we. Shoot him there. 
Oh, yeah. Both of them boys, they dead. That was nice. You guys gotta let me know if you like this view. I figured you might. I was gonna go pick up my birds, and then I was like, oh, never leave your gun. Because just like that, they will come flying over the top and you'll get a whack at them. Let's go see what I shot here. Here's the first one I shot. Blue check. Pretty young bird. <laughs> there are golf balls everywhere. One of these neighbors over here loves to hit some golf balls out in this field. Look at that. <laughs> here is the second bird that I shot. What are you? <sighs> Blue bar, older bird. Look at that. Another golf ball. Ooh. Oh man, we are in the money for the golf balls, boys and girls. Heck yeah. Look at that. One little walk. I dropped two of them there. <laughs> you got two more? Yeah. Well, dude, we're in the money for the golf balls today. We have Good to go golf. range off the freaking, over the pond. Yeah, it must be, uh, they're all in the same vicinity. So you can tell, oh, out front, yep. You're right, I'm gonna shut up. You going 410? We'll give her a whirl, she yeah. comes in. I'll back you up. Got a single right here. <laughs> Girl's gonna spray and pray with the old 14er. Oh, 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 right there, dude. Get him, shoot him. Nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was sweet, dude. It smoked him. Dude, he was booking it and then he just pumped the brakes. Yeah, he did. He got all the way down in there. That's gotta be a baby. Literally, he the, looks tiny. He looks young. When you come back, show everybody your 410. It's a <laughs> double barrel beauty. If it's banded with the 410, you gotta mount it. He said, okay. Uh, that'd be crazy. Oh, some coming. What brand is she? Uh, oh, it's some weird. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Look, it's from Turkey. Turkey Yildiz? Yeah. Yildiz Sal Salah. I don't know. Never heard of her, but it's a good looking gun. I like it. It shoots good. Dude, a little it's double barrel. It's tiny too. It's little so fun. Little itty bitty double barrel, man. That's bad. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All you. Nice shot. Go down. Oh, he, he hit. He got hit. Okay, okay. You got one more floating around. Well, two down. Do you guys like this view? Oh, that one just Gotta let up. me know. Oh, did he get up? Ooh. Get down in there. Get down in there. Ooh, four more. Look at these guys swinging in there. Oh, I got one lugging its wings back. Jeez. He's a pretty one too, like a pie ball. If we get a shot, we're just gonna go on them too, my brother. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot that. Oh god, I'm gonna... we both I went way too far ahead of him for sure. Way too far. I let him way, way too much. Ooh yeah, two packer. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I, dude, I was just at that point. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't go any farther right. With another white wing. Yeah, that's a good look. They both. They go. Oh, that's nice. He's a good looking bird. We'll go check out. Check him out in a minute. Ooh, look at this. You're in the money. Another golf ball. Man, they are pretty new golf balls, dude. Range out, uh, off the, over the pond. That would be cool. Yeah. 
Good looking white winger? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nothing, nothing there though. Yeah. We're due. Yeah, we are due. Usually by now we would definitely have a band on the ground, you know, about every hundred pigeons or something. Not this year, not yet. I think we done killed them all these years. Well, we are soggy bottom McGee's out here. Oh man, it's humid. Rained all night, the sun's coming out. Bad deal, all picked up. Uh, right on the button, two man, 30. 30 birds. I'll take it. Found eight of them on a little cripple roundup. <laughs> yeah, so the hopefully I got on the shot cam. The last, uh, I shot three. I forgot to take the GoPro, but ground pounded one and shot the other two. He shot one, picked up another three that were sailors. There we go. That was good. New decoys look good. I like them. Let's go check them out. So, Gerald, tell them what, oh, you do. the tell them what you're doing this year for snow goose. So we're going to be running some snow goose spreads up in Missouri and South Dakota. We'll have two big, big sock spreads out of these, and then we'll have one big full body spread. We'll have a hundred dozen for the bulk and then we'll use socks for the tail. Yeah. And then Missouri, that'll be, they'll be permanent sets. We'll have three different spreads. And then uh, South Dakota will be a heated pit blind with a big full body spread. <laughs> so first I'll off- cook, cook breakfast every morning. <laughs> yeah, that on the griddle in the yep. blind, in a pit blind Biscuits out of the wind. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, you're gonna have to take Bert with you. I want Bert to come. That would be cool. Dude, he'd, he'd love cooking it. Cooking in that blind every morning. He'd love it. Yeah. So, how many? So first of all, hold on. How do people get a hold of you? Uh, really affordable, permanent. Yeah, it's sets. it's a cheap. Well, basically Missouri will be right around 200 bucks a day per person. Mm -hmm. um, you can do small groups when if you have six. Six is your own field. There won't be many mixes. If it's not a full group, we'll probably have eight tops. Eight people in a field tops. Um, <clears throat> South Dakota, um, that pit blind's gonna be nice. I wanna try to keep you know the group small so you can enjoy it, the camar camaraderie and everything like that. I'll cook breakfast, whether it's me, JD, or Truman. We'll cook That's breakfast awesome. for you, whoever's running the group. And- What, uh, what do you prefer <clears throat> contact-wise? Instagram, Facebook? Uh, any of them. So if you go to my Instagram, uh, it's just Gerald. Yep, it's right here. Yep, Gerald Outdoors 316, I think is what it is. Uh, my cell phone number and everything's on there, but you can email me at Sand Hill Jeffries. Uh, there's an Instagram port page for Sand Hill yeah. Snows. There's yeah Sand Hill. So it's called Sand Hill Snows, or that's the two best ways. If you're not an Instagram guy, yeah. But my number's on there. I prefer to talk to people. You yeah. know, I like to feel people out when I talk to them, and yeah. uh, you can tell how serious people are and everything like that. And if they're, you're, you can kind of tell if you're going to enjoy it a lot hey, more. You, so you ain't lying. But uh, how many socks did you buy? Brand new socks. Uh, this week, four hundred dozen. Four hundred dozen. Yeah. Jesus. So each each one will have around 200 dozen in each one. Uh, the full bodies will be 1,200 full bodies with about 300 socks for a tail. Gotcha. So we can don't have to move the full bodies. We yeah. just move the socks. Right. Two birds. Those are abandoned ones. <laughs> they probably are. Yeah. These look good, dude, for that price. Yeah. Holy and it, cow. Uh, what brand is it? Skyfly, which gotcha. I've never used them. I've heard about them. Lots of people, like in the snow goose forums and stuff, use them. Uh, we'll see how durable and everything they are this year, but the the guy through Instagram is how I contacted him. Then he finally gave me his number. Uh, super easy to work with, um, and shipping like I got my email yesterday. I ordered them two days ago. They shipped yesterday. They'll be here tomorrow. Jeez, that's crazy. They're nice. Do they fold down? Oh, they do collapse. Yeah. Ah, yeah, they collapse. It's just all be dad gum. And it's not a piece of metal that's gonna bend. Yep. So yep. it's a piece of plastic, uh -huh. and it just it basically it's like a pressure. You know, it's that's nice. Dude. Yeah. We'll see. It's like got them. it's got holes in the bottom for the rain and stuff, so it runs out of it. So conservation season is snow goose only. That would uh that's like February. You know, we'll, March. We'll start. We'll start February 20th in Missouri. Right. And then we'll run through March 18th in Missouri. That leaves us five days to pick up right. 6,000 decoys and 40 layout blinds and A-frames and fix what's broke. Yeah. Drive up South Dakota and we'll set it all again. 
So just know a lot of people have contacted me in the last few years, uh, sand hill, regular sand hill flyaway, wanting a conservation hunt. And unfortunately, um, here in Kansas, our conservation season, especially in my area, is very, 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 very minimal, if nothing. Or it could be great for two weeks. You just never know. It's kind of all over the place. So if you are interested in hunting with G-Wagon in Missouri, South Dakota, wherever, like he was saying, get a hold of him. He would love to see it. And like I said, um, if you are interested in a November duck-goose combo hunt, we have lots of availability. And for one week, starting yesterday, um, you can uh, save a bunch of money. I am discounting November dates for one week only, trying to get, uh, whether your father's sons, a group of five, whatever it is, trying to get you guys that want to be here an opportunity to afford it. Everything's expensive, man. Yeah. Don't miss that. No that November is trophy spec season. Yeah. If you haven't shot a spec, there's it's, a lot. November has always been your favorite month. Favorite. I don't know why. And it's always been the fastest to fill up too. Yeah. Last year it was just hot, but we still did good. Yeah. It was, it was abnormally warm last year, like a lot of you experienced, but we did great. If it's a normal year and we were just talking about it earlier and it gets down into the at least the 40s, 40s at night. even even in October degrees in the evenings okay but yeah if it would stay right at freezing at night and then 50 degrees in the day last year, year that'd be yeah great. <laughs> last year November 1st I believe it was like 55 for the low at night maybe and then I remember days where it was literally like Aaron was taking his shirt off yeah like 70 75 which is quite a scene um <laughs> real <laughs> That was unreal. Dude. What in the heck? <laughs>